Introducing Brazilian Ruby Remy by Isis Collection. We have two types of hair to show you today. We have the straight and the wavy. Now let me start telling you a few things about this hair. It has longevity, meaning you can shampoo this hair up to 15 times. So if you want to shampoo every other day, that's just fine. This hair also has body and movement. It's tangle free. The hair is very, very healthy. We have a nice soft texture. There's lots of moisture and there is no shedding. Ruby Remy has been stylist tested and approved. This hair has glossy sheen and the silk of luxuriously smooth hair. Ruby Remy is the gemstone of the red carpet premiere line. Here we have Brazilian Ruby Wave. That's the name of the hair. This hair is by Isis Collection. This hair has longevity. It can be shampooed up to 15 times. Has lots of body and movement. It is tangle free. This hair is very healthy. It has a nice soft hair texture. Lots of moisture and very little to no shedding. As far as styling this hair, you would just use a little water. Um, not too much product. We don't want you to put too much product on this hair. It can be shampooed and conditioned as we said earlier. So I want to let you know that um, you can do any type of style that you like. Meaning you can do a bonded weave, you can do a wig, you can sew the tracks in. It's totally up to you. Today, we're going to shampoo and condition the hair for you. We're going to dry it as well. And we're going to show you a demo of how to do a sewn-in technique. I will also show you a cut and style. So let's get started. With the Brazilian Ruby Remy hair. It's just so beautiful. I'm, I'm ready to work. So I am going to get started by placing a net on her hair and I'm also going to use a special tool called a chin strap to place the cap down. I'm going to use the chin strap to hold everything in place for me. So at this point I am sewing. I am sewing the Brazilian Ruby Remy hair to the braid. So I'm basically filling in one side so that I can get closer to the area where I would like to close the top of the weave. You don't always close in the middle. It's like a styling thing. You close where you need to according to the style you're trying to achieve. We're at the very top, it's time to close. I'm now going to use a razor to split the weft. I'm also going to now split my thread. So for those of you at home who have been looking for some tips and tricks, you just got it. I'm going to use my fingers to separate the hair. So once I've separated the hair, I'm going to bring my needle back into the location where, it, where the thread came out of. Now I will work my needle back up to the middle of that roll. It's time for cutting.
I'm just gonna grab a section from the front. Simply pull it over. Simply gonna draw the hair forward. And where I stop cutting on the bang hair, I'm gonna start cutting with my razor. And I'll just simply glide down. Using a flat iron, when using a flat iron, you don't have to grab a small section of hair. You can grab a large section of hair if you like. Just grab it, go straight in, lift up, and gently pull through. By the way, I have absolutely nothing on her hair. No products. So look at the way the hair reacts to the flat iron without anything added. So if you're looking for hair that has longevity, hair that you can shampoo at least 15 times, hair that has body and movement, hair that's tangle free, has a healthy, soft texture as well as contains lots of moisture.